Good morning, friends. I know my halo sideways today. Um, <laughs> that's the new style. <laughs> okay, so, um, so I've been receiving a lot of emails from people asking me what to do or not to do. Phil, I have a child in school, and if they don't get the job because they're enforcing it, he's not going to be able to attend. Or Phil, I'm working at this job, and they're enforcing the job, and if I don't take it, I'm going to be fired. And the, the main thing that jumps out at me when I read these emails is we're asking the wrong questions. All of these questions are at the surface level. It's okay if you ask someone, should I wear this dress or that dress? Because you're being playful, you're going out, it's surface, it's shallow. That's fine. But when it comes to life situations, <laughs> you can't ask surface questions. You know, if Jesus was alive, he would never tell you what to do. He would not. Because the teacher isn't here to tell you what to do. The teacher is here to reorient you to your soul. And your soul is like this pinata that cracks open when you have a reckoning, when you reconnect with it, and all these answers pop out of the pinata. The teacher points you in the direction of your soul so that you can become sovereign and you can connect to your knowing and you can figure out what's right for you. But it requires a digging deeper of what's going on inside of yourself. Spirituality is a real thing. It encompasses everything. Psychology, you name it. Spirit came before the mind. <laughs> so spirituality is psychology on steroids and then some. You understand? So the main thing that stuck out was we're not asking the right questions. If I tell you what to do or not to do, which I would never do, I would never do that. All you would be doing is following orders, which will perpetuate your own mind control. In other words, when you ask shallow questions, you're letting me know, and there's no judgment, you're letting me know that you're already mind controlled, that you can't think for yourself. This is about critical thinking. This is about looking at yourself, taking a bold look at what's going on inside of you in terms of your beliefs, in terms of your ideologies, in terms of your methods, in terms of your thoughts, in terms of your conditioning, in terms of your upbringing. You understand? So we've got to take out that invisible shovel and dig deeper. A right question would be, Phil, what's causing me to believe that I can't find another job? Hey, Phil, what's really going on with me to think that I can't find another school for my child? It's all a game of beliefs. And the problem right now is that everyone's playing Mortal Kombat when it comes to their own beliefs. <laughs> That's why you're suffering so much. That's why you're so confused. That's why your mind is so jumbled. That's why you can't think straight. It's because you're playing mortal combat with your belief systems. It's an internal tug of war. That doesn't have to be there. It, it's only there because you're restricting your energy flow. That's the only reason it's there. When your energy doesn't flow properly, there's disease, there's confusion, there's unclarity, there's uncertainty. They're shallow questions. <laughs> you understand? When your energy flows properly, you have access to the whole quantum field. Your soul speaks to you literally, literally all day long. Turn left, turn right, cool. And you don't have to ask shallow questions anymore. We have to go into the beliefs because your beliefs shape reality. They shape reality. If Oprah said to me, Oprah Winfrey said to me, hey, go study math because I see that you're going to become a mathematician. Fuck no. I hate math. <laughs> and I know that about myself. If a woman says to me, I'm in an abusive relationship, should I stay or should I go? What's it going to do to tell you? You're just following orders. What's it going to do? You think God cares if you leave or stay? From one perspective, you could say yes, but the, 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 the truer answer is no. God wants you to ask why you're there, how you got there, how you attracted that relationship, why you're still in it. What do you need to do to get out of it? What beliefs are you running that you need to eliminate? That's what God cares about. 
God doesn't care about if you leave or go, because if I tell you to leave, you're going to take your beliefs with you and go on to the next situation. And in a year from now, you're going to call me and you're going to ask me the same question. Jesus would never tell you what to do. It's really important that you drill that in. Okay? We need to start asking the, the correct questions. If you had a gazillion dollars, would you ever say things like, you know, me and my husband can't go out tonight because we have to look after our child? No. You'd hire five nannies. So it's not about the money. Remember, money is just a representation of abundance. It's about an abundant mindset. If you had uh, two gazillion dollars, you would never even speak like that. So unless you're willing to start seeing yourself as an abundant being, you're never going to have an abundant life. When you, you create all these limitations, they're self-imposed. There's always another solution. There's always a holistic practitioner to a doctor. There's always a, a naturopath to a doctor. There's always different things. There's alternatives. But this is about stepping out of your old paradigm through the releasing of your beliefs. And as you rework your beliefs, you open yourself to new possibilities that are more in keeping or more in accord with your new frequency. It's all frequency. Beliefs dictate your frequency. If all of your beliefs are positively inclined or positively oriented, you're vibrating high. I believe that I'm a, a, a gazillionaire. I believe that I want to go out with my husband tonight. We're getting that nanny. I believe, I believe, I believe. These are positive beliefs. Oh, but I, we can't. We have to babysit our child. Limitation. So, so I wouldn't tell you to go out. <laughs> I wouldn't say, well, go out anyways. What I would ask you is, Let's talk about your beliefs. What's going on with you right now? What makes you think that you can't go out? Oh, you know, we're running low on money. Okay, cool. Perfect. Ooh, let's go. Let's go in that. A block in your root chakra. Let's talk about that. What was your father like? What was your mother like? What did you accept that wasn't your own? Why are you still hanging on to it? Most people are very uncomfortable having these conversations because they don't want to address those internal issues. But th that's not a spiritual path. If you don't do that, that's not a spiritual path. That's not a spiritual path. This is about taking a bold look at yourself and saying, I'm ready. I'm ready to declutter myself. I'm ready to cleanse out my heart. I'm ready to sanitize my soul. I'm ready to replug into my soul. And all the answers will come from inside. Hey, Phil, should I leave my job or not? Shallow. That's a shallow a question. Shallow. Hey, Phil, why am I having this battle inside of me? Please tell me what's going on with me. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. I would never answer a shallow question. Because then I'd be perpetuating the very mind control I tell you to log out of. You understand? That's why Jesus would never impose his ways on you. He'd be disabling you. He'd be handicapping you. He'd be disempowering you. Giving you the answers disempowers you. It disempowers you. This is about taking your power back. Taking your time to formulate the right questions. If you want help, you have to help yourself. That's how it goes, my friends. Everything else is shallow. Everything else correlates to mind control. To you being disconnected from your soul. All right? I love you guys. For real.